Today on our 2015 GMC Terrain, we're going to be taking a look at the best roof rack options available. The three roof rack systems we're going to be taking a look at today are going to be the Yakima Jetstream roof rack system, and then the Thule Aeroblade roof rack system, and finally the Inno Aero roof rack system. While all three of these roof rack systems have their similarities, we're going to be focusing on their differences. We're going to start with the rubber strips at the top of the bars. Now looking at both the Inno and the Yakima, you can use T-Track accessories just like you can with the Thule. The slight difference between these three is, with the Yakima and the Inno, all you have to do is push down the rubber strip and push your T-Track accessory in place without having to cut the strip itself. However, to do that, you have to remove the end caps and make that happen. With Thule, it has ease of access to the T-Track with just pushing this end cap open, like so, and you have your access. Another consideration or difference between these three is going to be the height that they have once it's actually placed onto your factory raised side rails. The Yakima is going to be the tallest, with the Inno being the shortest, and the Thule kind of being a mid-ground between the two. Something to consider with this height difference is going to be once you have your accessories installed and fully loaded, such as your bike racks or your cargo baskets, you may have issues of clearance when pulling back in your garage. Then you would have to remove them and then pull in afterwards. Something else to take a look at is going to be the crossbar overhang. Now the Yakima has the clear advantage here right out of the gate with having a much longer crossbar overhang here, so you have the possibility of putting more accessories up on the top side. Now with the Thule and the Inno, you can purchase longer bars as long as you don't go past your factory side mirrors, but you would have to purchase those separately. Also with these three roof rack systems, the Inno is the only one that comes with the locks included to secure it to your roof rack. However, with the Thule and the Yakima, you can purchase the lock cores separately and make them key to like with your accessories, while with the Inno, you would have to either purchase extra lock cores and switch these out, or just go with separate locks altogether. Another advantage that the Inno and the Thule have is they have integrated tightening tools that come with the roof rack system. With the Inno, it's actually part of the foot that attaches to your factory raised side rails, and with the Thule, it's a separate piece that gets pushed in once everything's installed. And while the Yakima does have the separate tool, the tool itself does have an indicator to let you know that you have tightened it to its proper specification so you don't over tighten it. Both Tool and Inno do not feature that. So basically when it comes down to these three, the one that I recommend is actually going to be the Inno. It's going to be the lowest profile of the three. You can always purchase a longer bar so you have more overhang and more ability to attach accessories to your roof rack system. It comes with the lock included and the integrated handle on the foot itself to tighten it around. We hope this makes your purchasing decision easier for your roof rack system for your GMC terrain.